Rich, I want to move uh, over to jobs now. Entrepreneurs like us, we know painfully well how difficult it is to build and sustain a successful business. We also know that America's small businesses are our job creation engine. Big companies do massive layoffs. They grow often through acquisition. It's little businesses that become large businesses that really have been our lifeblood. Yet excessive taxes and regulation help turn what is already difficult into what is often insurmountable. What would Senator Rich Pizzullo do to improve the climate for jobs in New Jersey as it pertains to these following issues? Should minimum wage be considered a living wage? And then I'd also like you to touch on how you believe minimum wage potentially affects unemployment rates. And maybe more importantly, the big picture is Big GovCo, as we've seen in recent years, better than the free market economy in creating sustainable and meaningful jobs? Big GovCo is the wrong way to establish meaningful and, and long-lasting jobs. Industries come and go. Um, job categories come and go. Um, the free market affects both goods and labor, and we should allow the forces to operate properly. Setting an artificial floor with a minimum wage distorts the, the free market of labor because it then impacts wage growth and modifications at every level. There's very few jobs out that are, are paying it in here in New Jersey that are paying bare minimum wage. When you go for food service jobs, they're above minimum wage. The the minimum wage is, is not the best way to create jobs. In fact, it's a job destroyer because when you do something that changes the compensation scale at every level in an organization, the people most likely to be frozen out of new positions are those at the entry-level jobs. And as businesses try and deal with the unanticipated consequences of raising the minimum wage, we shouldn't be using the minimum wage as, as a government tool. I think it hurts more people than it helps. Yeah, I agree fully, and I'll throw in one perspective, and I'll reiterate the question. If you think about, if you and I started a business right now called Rich and John Robotics, we would be jumping for joy at the prospect of raising a minimum wage because we would know then that almost every fast food restaurant would seek to drop 20 to 30% of their employees and buy robotics that could automatically flip hamburgers or make french fries with a push of a button. So in the context of that, I look at minimum wage and the idea of that the Democratic Party and this president in particular is keeps using the term living wage as if flipping burgers should be a way of life that a grown man or woman should be raising their family and putting their kids through college as opposed to what you pointed out, which this is, this is a, a starting way for people to gain skills and get a toehold into the marketplace. That's true. That's the purpose of that job. The, the, the value of a job, the wage paid by a job is the value that it represents to the employer, the person hiring you. Nothing more, nothing less should impact that equation. If you want to have local teenagers coming to work in your restaurant because you need a large pool of intermittent uh, labor, you're going to have to pay more than minimum wage to attract them to come in and work. And if you don't want to pay that, you're not going to get quality people and your business will ultimately go out of business. That's the law of supply and demand as it affects labor. And you're not helping people when you mess with that particular equation. So, no, you're not, you're not creating any jobs. In fact, and, and the Fortune 500 hasn't created a net new job in decades, and yet they're the ones that get all the corporate uh, welfare, if you will. Um, if you wanted to see more job growth in areas, you would stop threatening to change the minimum wage, you would, rem you would remove the threat of an employer mandate for health insurance, and you could get people to work earning money. It, makes, it doesn't matter if you can afford to buy insurance on the exchanges if you're going to lose your job in two weeks or two months. That won't help you at all. And you might get a subsidy for your insurance, but you still have to pay something. And if you lose your job, you stop paying the premiums. And then you end up with problems in the insurance system, problems in your personal life, and problems at the doctor's office. Uh, by messing with people's ability to get a job, by messing with employers' freedom to pay a fair market wage, you're slowly and inexorably destroying the fundamental foundation of the economy. Spot on. And in less time than it took for Obama to spend over a billion dollars to build a few broken websites, entire 
new economic entities are coming to bear, young companies that are bringing exciting new technologies, things like how do they use LED light bulbs as communication methodologies? And the government doesn't do that. So, uh, so I, I agree with your, uh, with your assessment, Rich, wholeheartedly. Well, you have issues in a lot of areas. If the federal government uh, insisted that we couldn't lay off uh, telephone operators, we would, uh, we would still have rooms full of people plugging uh, wires into switches. But we've seen entire categories of jobs go away. And yet people motivated to take care of themselves and feed their families find ways to make themselves of value to other people. That's the fundamental lesson we need to teach young people is that in order to survive in a free society, you need to find a way to make yourself of value to other people. And sometimes that doesn't always involve college. Sometimes that could be becoming a welder, choosing to be a carpenter. Uh, I see a number of businesses springing up doing office cleaning. There are ways to make yourself of value to other people, present yourself, and then earn whatever value you can then earn. And that speaks to entrepreneurism. In a lot of cases, the real answer to finding a job is to make a job, do what you love, find people that will give you money for it, and then grow your business from there. 